hi guys welcome back to my channel and how are you guys doing hopefully you guys are good and welcome to my channel if you're new here i am maureen glow thank you for tuning in please make sure to subscribe to my channel before you exit thank you so yeah guys in one of my videos yesterday i did talk about regina daniel's co-wife Lila, who divorced their husband Nedwonko. and because of this a lot of people took to their social media platforms to drag regina daniel's because they feel regina as you know jaromatized Nedwonko. and the reason Leila divorced Nedwonko because obviously she wasn't getting the attention like she used to from Nedwonko because yeah, Regina is not in the picture. Okay, fine. But for some reasons, Jaruma the Kayamata seller felt the need to repost these comments by these people on her Instagram page and guess what? This infuriated Regina so much so that she called out Jaruma. Okay, guys, um, before I even get to read what Regina wrote about the situation, so to say, I'd like to say this. If you guys recall, yeah, Regina and Jaruma we were friends before now. Aside Regina promoting Jaruma's um, Kayamata products, they were friends because I've seen videos of them together. I've seen the one of Regina, Jaruma, and even Regina's mother together. You know, even at one time like that, when Regina was sick at the hospital, I remembered Jaruma was with her. So if that was not friendship, I wonder what that was. Because right now I'm confused as to why Regina would call out Jaruma the way she did. I mean, what could have gone wrong in their friendship that infuriated Regina that much? Hmm. Could it be there is something going on in the background that they're still yet to tell us? Who knows? Because I feel she could have reached out to Jaruma to put on the post instead of calling her out. But anyway, I'm just going to read what Regina wrote, then we'll continue from there. So yeah, Regina wrote, and I quote, This is for clarity's sake. I have and will never use any Kayamata products. Jaruma paid me to help make random posts for her. I personally gave my terms concerning the kind of posts to be made. Along the line, we became friends. I was warned severally to keep her at harm's length and mind my association with her. But it's not in my nature to judge a person from another's perspective. But in her case, I should have known better. She constantly uses every opportunity opportunity to create a content to profit off my person and my brand even after our payment deal expired i tolerated it because i believed i understood her person and i felt i should give her the benefit of doubt and maintain a cordial friendship but this time i will not tolerate jaruma using the issue that practically portrays me as a bad person for her selfish desires knowing fully well that i have never and will never use whatever she sells as i have no reason to <laughs> anyway guys jaruma responded so i'm going to read jaruma's response before i'll get to say what i have to say okay so yeah jaruma's response reads jaruma constantly uses every opportunity to create content are you serious right now so why didn't you tell the world the price a whooping 10 million naira. you must be joking gina Jaruma and Regina were friends for a year before Jaruma paid Regina 10 million naira just for the purpose of visibility and reaching more audience since Gina was in the spotlight for marrying a much older man. In six months, Regina only posted Jaruma three times. Maybe because Gina felt Jaruma is in Dubai and so she can just do anyhow. Therefore, Jaruma flew in from Dubai just to make Gina post at least three times a week. Breakdown of friendship before and after the 10 million naira. You gave my baby 1k dollars. I gave your mom 1 million naira on her birthday. I bought you your headphones 120,000 naira. I paid for your dinner at Sinuki 172,000 naira. On Salad Day, I gave your maid Lee 100,000 naira. I gave your driver and police 200,000 naira. I slept by your side in the hospital when you were sick. We went to Leila's house. There, I gave Leila's driver 100,000 naira. I gave Leila's house girl. 100,000 naira. I gave Leila's police 200,000 naira. I bought your mom a lace of 500,000 naira. We had dinner in Sammy's house. I sprayed 100,000 naira. In the Sam wine place, I again sprayed 200,000 naira. A whooping 10 million naira. Today, I will post all and every single video of you that I have been keeping as content to be posted gradually. I will post everything today so that tomorrow you will not say Jaruma is using you every single opportunity to create content hmm. i've said it before and i'm still going to say it again believe all the social media influencers especially kayamata aphrodisiac influencers at your own risk just imagine somebody advertising what they don't use not be juju be that 
Not be juju be that. So, Regina, you collected 10 million Naira from Jaruma and you expected Jaruma not to create content to profit off your person. Wow. Just wow. But that's not even it right now. The cocoa right now is that Regina has managed to deceive the public. Yes, she deceived the public by advertising products she doesn't use. For what? Monetary, you know, purpose? That's bad, Gina. I mean, that's really bad. And as for you, Jaruma, you're being too childish. If not, what's with all this money you're claiming you spent? Regina never forced you to spend all that money on her family. You chose to. So, her point is, she never used your products. So, stop attaching her to anything that has to do with your products. Especially now that the contract between the both of you has expired. Case closed. Anyway, guys, I don't know what else to say. So, please... Let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section below and I will see you on my next one. But until then, guys, be good. Always be good. Be nice to people around you. And yeah, I'll see you on my next one, like I said. So please, please, if you know you've not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Like this video, comment and share. And yeah, that's about it from me. So peace out and bye-bye. It's fine, sir. Okay. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. Okay, so back to our matter. Let me finish my my five hundred five hundred k in naira for this for my waist. Yeah, so uh, and about three three. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Yeah, that's one point five million for the three ways. And then we have so, the beautiful yeah, gentleman chocolate. Mm -hmm. chocolate. Yeah. For the perfect boxing. Mm -hmm. Oh my it's god. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. You can see it says um Jaruma Empire, Love Sex Chocolates, Aphrodisiac Manufacturers since 2010. <laughs> so beautiful. You see even here it says um Jaruma, Sex, Bonding, Intimacy, Passion, and Love. love. <laughs>